Okay, this tutorial will be going over an example problem for using Hess's law. So here are some reactions, okay, and uh, these are the, our uh, elementary reactions, okay, and then uh, here's a, and here's what it says, calculate the uh, heat of reaction for this uh, fourth reaction using using these three reactions, try to manipulate them, okay, try to manipulate these so that it equals this last reaction, and whatever you do to these, that's what you do to these, okay, and then you could add them all up. So our enthalpy change, our final enthalpy change here, we'll call this reaction four. Okay, so we'll call this reaction four, and we'll call this one, two, and three. So the enthalpy of uh, reaction four is equal to the enthalpy of one plus the enthalpy of two and the enthalpy of the third reaction. Okay, so um, I what I did was I, I arranged it in this uh, chart here. Okay, and uh, I'll try to explain how how this how this all comes together. All right, so you kind of have to what you have to do is you have to look at this reaction and look at these and then ask yourself, do I need to which ones do I need to reverse? And then how do I make uh, how do I make some of these cancel out so that it equals this? Okay, so let's take a look at this reaction. And the first thing I notice here is that um, I have some hydrogen, so I have hydrogen right here. Okay, but there's no uh, there's no hydrogen that appears here. Okay, so some way that hydrogen needs to cancel out. So on one of these reactions, it needs to be it needs to this one needs to be reversed or this one needs to be reversed. One of them needs to be reversed so that it can drop out because it doesn't show up here. Okay, so like one needs to be on the product side and the other and on another reaction needs to be on the reactant side. Okay, one thing that jumps out to me here is there's kind of like a lot of guessing and checking. It's almost it's kind of like a puzzle how, uh, how you do these. So one thing that jumps out to me is the N205 is right here. Okay, and this is on the on our final reaction. It's on the product side. Okay, on this one, it's on the reactant side, and this is the only equation where the N two O five is showing up. Actually, okay, so uh, it doesn't appear in any of these other ones. Another thing too to note is the HNO three. This species uh, doesn't show up here, so this is this also needs to cancel out. Um, I know for sure I need to reverse this equation because this has the N2O5 on the reactant side and it has it um, on the product side here. I will also need to multiply this by two because I have two moles here, but only one mole is showing in the reaction up here. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with that. Um, so, uh, so I'm gonna take this whole reaction, okay, and, uh, and I'm gonna reverse it so I'm going to reverse this and multiply it by 2. Okay, so that's what I'm going to, this is what we need to do. So I'm going to reverse it and multiply it by 2. So my new reaction would be this. It would be 4 HNO3 uh, arrow uh, 4, I'm sorry, N2 N2O5s plus two H2Os. And my new uh, delta H is going to be, um, so since I reverse it, I change the sign. So I'm going to put negative two times a negative 76.6. Okay, and then I should get, uh, for that I should get uh, 153. Two kilojoules. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need uh, H2O to cancel. Okay. So uh, so that means on this reaction, um, I so since I reverse this one, now my H2O is on the reactant on the product side. Okay, and it's already on the product side here, and I have two H2Os. 
So what I need to do is I need to make H2O on this side, on the reactant side, and I need two of them. So what I'm going to do also to this one is reverse it and multiply by two. So my new reaction then would be two H2O arrow, uh, two H2 plus two O2. Okay, and then my new delta H will be uh, negative two times uh, negative 285.5 or 0.8. Okay, and I get uh, 571.6 kilojoules. Okay, um, next is I need this HNO3 to cancel. Why do I know that? Or how do I know that? Because HNO3 does not appear here. So um, I'm going to, I need, so HNO3 is on the reactant side here and it's on the product side here. So I do not need to reverse this equation. Okay, do you see that? So that so if I reverse it, then on the, my HNO3 will both be on the reactant side. So I keep this one the same. Okay, and uh, it looks like I'm going to need four of these. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing by four, and I'm going to multiply this as well by four, and I'm going to keep the sign because I'm not reversing it, this, uh, this reaction. So I'm going to keep it the same and just multiply by four. So my new reaction would be uh, two and twos. Um, plus six O twos plus two H twos makes four H N O threes. Okay, and then my the enthalpy will become four times what it was. So this will be negative six ninety six point four kilojoules. Okay, so um, now here's where we double check. Okay, so like uh, all of these, all of this stuff here, um, all of these need to add up to equal this uh, equation. So um, I'm going to like box all the like terms. So this two H2Os and two H2Os. So it's, so it's on the reactant side here and the product side here. So it cancels. Okay, and then I had, I had two of them as well. Um, my... My uh, O2, I actually, I messed that up. Two times one should be one. Okay, I, I kind of messed that one up. So two times a half equals one. Okay, I made a mistake there. I get rest should be okay. Um, now, my my O2s is on, the, is on the product side here, and I have six of them over here. So this one cancels. And only one of these will cancel this, so this should become five O twos. Okay. Um, now the HNO threes are right here, so there's four here and four here, so those cancel as well. Um, and I think, uh, oh no, there's one more that cancels, so that it's also. Uh, this right here, the two H2s, so it's on the product side here, and it's actually on the reactant side here, so those cancel as well. It's actually easier, um, I couldn't really fit it on my slide, but it's easier to line up all the reaction arrows, okay, because this almost looks like they're on the same side, but it's on the reactant side here. Okay, so let me, uh, so if I add these up, then I should get two N2s plus five O2s creates two n two o fives okay and it checks out with the overall here so my my overall enthalpy then will be the sum of all of these okay the sum not all of these the my little side problems here that I already worked out okay so uh, so you take uh, five seventy one point six plus one fifty three point two plus a negative 696.4, okay, and this should equal an overall enthalpy of positive 28.4 kilojoules, and that's the answer, okay, using Hess's law. So my next problem is for you guys to try, okay, and I'm going to end the tutorial here. So you want to, uh, and remember, um, use this as a guide. Let me give you a couple little uh, pointers here, take-home pointers. So you want to use 
you want to you want to keep staring at this and keep asking yourself which ones which which species uh which species here do not show up here okay and then that way you know if you have to reverse them or not okay so uh and other things to look for are the coefficients so you have four coppers here but only one from the elementary step and coppers on the left here and it's on the left here okay so just a couple little hints so see what you could do with this one okay it's the end of our tutorial